Today we will learn how to root Galaxy S Duos and Flash CWM in it. So without any further ado, let's get started. So to root the phone you need to download the link one in the description and when you download and extract it to a folder then you get these three files first one is CWM super user SU version 0.96 second is Odin third is the custom recovery so the first thing which you need to do is you need to copy the CWM super user SU to your external SD card of your Galaxy S duos and rest two will remain in your computer so after you are done with that you need to extract the Odin right here right extract to Odin you see you extracted the Odin this is the software which will flash the recovery into your uh, device and the second one is the recovery this will be right here and you don't need, you do not need to extract it yeah guys so after you are done copying the CWM super user SU to your external SD card of your phone the second thing you need to do is connect your phone to your computer you have to connect in the download mode but before doing that I want to show you that my phone is uh, not rooted here as you can see I have the root checker app right here I load it and then I go agree and okay and then I go verify root access and you see as it's written sorry the device does not have proper root access so as you can see my device is not rooted and uh, there won't be any data loss guys so don't worry so the second thing which you need to do is now switch off your phone see the vibration confirms that your phone is switched off and then you need to go to the download mode of your phone and for doing that you have to hold your volume down home and power buttons together until you see the Samsung logo then it will be in your home like download mode and as soon as the phone vibrates just leave all three of them You see the phone goes into download mode, it's written warning, uh, custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and install applications. So you hit volume up to continue and you see the downloading mode uh, comes up here and then you need to connect the USB cable to the computer. And guys, if, uh, before, if you don't have Samsung keys installed on your phone, then uh, please make sure that you have Samsung keys installed because the computer won't recognize your device in uh, download mode because there's no Samsung drivers installed in it so if you just install the keys it automatically installs the driver in your phones so no need to worry about that just uh, install the Samsung keys and then you're ready to go and then we open Odin right click run as administrator yes and when the Odin is opened, um, you can see this menu pops up. And then you need to select PDA. And then go to your folder which uh, you extracted all the files. And here you have to select the recovery folder. Recovery is like the zip file. And then click open. And you see the PDA is loaded. Don't touch anything here guys. Otherwise it, will, it can cause brick on your phone. So just uh, load the PDA and then you need to click start and uh, just a pre-suggestion guys you need to like uh, jump into action like right after the f it is done the recovery flashing is done up here then you need to remove the battery as soon as the phone vibrates this uh, like d delete some files in the phone and something is too complicated to tell so you just remove your back cover of your phone just in case like you uh, get too late to remove it so just remove it keep your battery open and then you need to after you loaded the PDA just click start to do not do anything and as you will see uh, the, the menu goes up and the recovery is done and after it vibrates you quickly need to remove the USB cable and the battery As you can see, a certain pass it vibrated. Just quickly take out the battery, wait for some time, then again reinsert the battery. And now you have the custom recovery installed, but it's not permanent. 
and you do not even have the super user installed it's just the temporary recovery flashing and now you need to go to your recovery mode and for doing that you have to hold volume up down home and power all four of them together until your phone vibrates and uh, just for information you can put back the cover there's no need of removing the battery now so I hold all four of them until the phone vibrates one two three Don't worry about the yellow triangle guys, you can remove it after you have rooted your device. As you can see I have the CWM based recovery right here. And now you need to go and select the file which I told you to copy into your external SD card. And for navigation you will use your volume up and down buttons, home and power buttons. So just go to install zip from SD card. I'll just focus. Yeah, install zip from SD card, the second option. Then you have to select by power button. Oh, sorry guys, uh, I'm really sorry, you have to select by home button right here. So you go to install zip from SD card, select from home button, and then you need to select choose zip from SD card, and this will open your SD card, and you can see the file is there, CWM super user SU 0.96.zip, just select, and just confirm yes, you want to flash it, and then just wait for it. You see, install from SD card is complete, so congratulations guys. Now for going back, you need to go back through your power button and then click reboot system now from your home button. And then you don't need to do anything and your phone is rooted and it has CWM installed. Yeah guys, so the phone has booted up. And now let's check for the super user app first and then we'll confirm it by root checker. And as you can see the no user data has been lost. You can see all the applications are right there. It's a little bit slow because it's uh, it just booted right now. Let's it let just wait for some time. I don't know what came into the mind of Samsung that it, they need to release the Galaxy S Duos. It's still a single core 1 gigahertz phone. It's really not good and uh, as for the user reviews, it's not a good phone and nobody likes it. it. It has really less features and stuff. You can't even move the apps to SD card and stuff like that. Uh, and guys who have been asking me how to uh, move these things to your SD card and stuff like that. Sorry guys, it's not impossible right now. Yeah, guys, so as you can see, the super user uh, permission popped up two times. So as you can see, the phone is rooted, but still let me show you. Here's the super user SU app, and uh, let's can verify it by root checker. See, verify root access. It's, now it will ask me for the super user permissions. Okay, I think it's some app bug. Let me exit, remove all apps, and then go to root checker again. Verify root access. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, the application popped up, and then you grant the super user permissions, and it's like congratulations, the device has been, the device has root access. So that was pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and if you want to follow us more, you, there are Facebook and Twitter links in description. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter. So. That was again pretty much it. There are more videos coming soon. Don't again, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This helps me a lot. So again, see you in the next video.